Hi, my name is Pam. This is Total Pamarchy, and today I'm going to show you how to make paraffin wax candles from inexpensive dollar store molds like this one that look good enough to eat. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Subscribe to my channel for more spooky crafty geekery. So the first thing I did was glue the wicks down into the molds. You do this so that the wicks don't float up when you pour the wax into the mold. I used hot glue. You can use tape or sticky tack and there's some special sticky tack you can get from the craft store as well that's for candle making if you choose to buy that as well. I found the hot glue worked well. Just have to be careful that you don't burn your fingers. When I was placing the wicks into the silicone molds, I had a hard time sticking them down. The glue didn't want to really adhere to that, which actually worked out in my favor for when I was removing the wax from the mold. I put the wicks in in two different positions from the bottom up and also from the side as well so that if the candles were standing on their ends that they would melt from the top down and you would see the pattern on the front of them. need to cut the wax into smaller pieces. I used a kitchen knife for this. It cut so easily. I did try to break them with my hands, but that didn't work. Just remember whatever kitchen utensil you choose to use, you're sacrificing it to the wax gods. To melt the wax, you're going to use a double boiler. I have a wax melting double boiler that I got from Michaels. You can use another container to melt your wax in, but remember whatever you use for it, you will not be using for anything else again. I stirred the wax as it was melting and I sacrificed a kitchen spoon to the wax gods. Here I'm just checking the temperature. Paraffin wax melts around 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's fully melted, you can add any scents that you want. I wanted pumpkin spice, but Michael's was all out of pumpkin spice scent. So I ended up using lavender scent instead. Before you pour your wax, you want it to reach pouring temperature, which is between 170 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And we are at 175, so we are about ready to pour. And here I'm pouring the wax into the molds. When you pour the wax in, the wicks will move a bit. They're not coming off of the bottom. My wicks were coated in wax. Not all wicks will be. As you pour the hot wax in, it melts the wax on the wicks and they move. So you'll want to stabilize them with some sort of stick or something. I use skewers that I had broken in half for this purpose. I thought it would be fun to add some color so I melted some more paraffin wax and I used one crayon broken in half. I added it in two pieces. I had a bit of orange color to my candles. It was a lot of fun. I will definitely do this again. The color just made them look so much better than just the regular white. We're just pouring in the melted colored wax into the mold. And I topped up the wax a couple of times just because as it cools and hardens, it shrinks. So you'll want to top up the wax a little bit. Thank you. 
After about an hour, if you have wax in a container, you'll have a little bit of a divot. Just top that up with some wax to fill the hole. Don't mess it up like I did on one of them. It'll look nice and smooth on top. Once your wax is hardened, you can remove them from the molds. I left them for a couple hours. Paraffin wax takes 24 hours to harden completely. This was my favorite part of the process. They turned out so well. They just popped right out of the molds. I didn't prep the molds with anything ahead of time. They just came right out of the silicone and they look so good. Like there's some sort of yummy candy, just good enough to eat. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making these candles and they turned out a lot better than I was anticipating. Subscribe to my channel for more Halloween spooky crafty geekery and we'll see you next time.